Liberia was established as the new home of free slaves by the American Colonization Society, ACS, after the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 by President Abraham Lincoln. Before its civil war, Liberia was the beacon of hope for most Africans on the continent because of the close ties it had with the United States. A prolonged inequality that started between the descendants of the free slaves and the indigenous Liberians resulted in the takeover of the People's Redemption Council PRC, a military group that deposed the government in a coup d'etat of 1980. A resulting corruption and abuse of power of the regime of the military leader and then president the late Samuel K. Doe sparked the nearly 14 years long civil war that left the country devastated. The war inflicted pains and anguish on thousands of citizens. Many have died and many were injured. Many fled to neighboring countries and beyond the Atlantic Ocean. Many children who survived missed out on early learning opportunities. The Liberian War ended as a result of intervention of a West African military force ECOMOC, backed by the international community. Many of the children who did not have the opportunity to leave the war ravaged country had no potential future. Some of them became missionaries for army sergeants in other parts of Africa for the reason that the use of guns is the only thing they ever learned. On the other hand, many children and their families who had the opportunity to leave to different countries, including the United States for new lives, are facing transitional predicaments of language barrier, cultural shock, educational disparity, and psychological stress. These are the factors causing hopelessness for many immigrant and refugees' families. In recognition of these, the African Community Education was established in Worcester City to help bridge educational gaps for immigrant and refugee children. Kaskayao is the co-founder and leader of the organization. So established this organization is to close the gaps of the African uh, children that I go into the public schools. Um, we. Uh, found out that those children coming to this country, um, they were getting difficulties in transitioning into the American school system. And it was not actually their fault because uh, most of them were born in the refugee camps. And some of them were even uh, raised on the refugee camps. And where there's no adequate uh, school in those refugee camps. And um, when they come to this country, they are placed in a grade according to their age, but not uh, the actual uh, educational level. We had challenges. Uh, most of our, some of the challenges were uh, the language barriers. Some of those children are from French-speaking countries. They don't speak English, and um, it makes it difficult for them to transition into the public school and also uh, the culture. Uh, as you may know, coming from Africa and transitioning into the American culture was very difficult. Even we ourselves that came as, uh, as an adult, it was difficult for us, our, ourselves, to transition. Um, and the parents, not knowing to speak English, not knowing the school system, it was a big challenge um, to the society and to the community. So we decided coming together to be able to help those parents and the community and our society.
challenges that our students face or that um, refugees in general face when they come to the United States. Um, I know that before, before working at ACE, I never understood the challenges that you face coming to the United States not knowing any English. Um, so getting people to understand that and know that and how to work with just in general refugee students um, is a huge challenge because there's so many people out there who don't know and don't understand. <laughs> already enrolled in the Saturday program so they're getting some of the other benefits from ACE and then we're just trying to identify some students that would work well with an adult one-on-one um, -on -one, and then the adults would help them like feel confident in or help them in an environment that they can speak English um, practice speaking English where they're not getting made fun of by other students or other people in the community um, so just providing them with an environment where they feel safe to practice their language. This is Phil. She is the outreach coordinator for the African Community Education Program. I love what I do here um, and what motivated me to stay is that my passion for children and working in the community. So um, I help families when they get here because most of our families are either refugee or immigrant families from Africa. So um, I work with a team of people to ensure that they settle in well, they um, can navigate the system to find um, services, and I also go to the public schools to follow up on children's academic performances and behavior. Most of our families come here with um, limited English or no English at all. So. Um, when they come here, we have to find interpreters for them, and sometimes the interpreters are not readily available because most of the, the families speak different small languages from Africa, and it's not easy to find interpreters for them. And for the parents as well, it's a challenge for them to express themselves and um, access services because of the same issue language barrier. In terms of language, um, I speak a little bit of French and verbal, we use verbal communication most often. With one, once I'm talking with families that don't speak the same language as I do, but we have all interpreters in our ESL classes that speak at least one of the languages that those parents speak. So in our ESL classes, as the teacher is speaking English and we notice that a student cannot comprehend that which she's saying, we try to put it in, our, in that language of the student and whether he or she can make the connection and make some attachment to what the teacher meant in English faster. Because transitional predicaments of language barriers, cultural shock, school age disparity, psychological stress are not unique to Liberians. The establishment of the African Community Education Organizations is helping to bridge learning gaps for African refugees and immigrant children in Worcester, Massachusetts. This is Jawan Kenwea. Thank you for watching.